start with a shoebox and measure the height. Then draw a template on two of the three-dimensional corners with similar measurements. When you cut out both of these, you'll have the makings of a cube. Next, you're going to want some newspaper. I used three full sheets and ripped them into quarters. Ball up the quarters of newspaper and put them in the middle of the die. This will add density and make it mm, less bouncy. I use duct tape here to seal off the open edges, all six of them. Then you're going to take three sheets of paper and measure the width of the die. The paper here is long enough to cover two sides of the die each. So cut to size and then use packing tape to attach the pieces of paper to two sides of the die. This will look ugly at first, but you can smooth it out as we continue. After it's fully covered, you can start to draw the pips. But it's really important in real die, you have opposite sides totaling seven. So here I drew five across from two, four across from three, and six across from one. I used a sticker for the one. It's a local Taiwanese brewing company. Grab the packing tape and then cover all the sides of the die. For the edges, it needs to extend beyond the height of the die and then use scissors to cut each corner, making four flaps, and then fold the flaps in over each other on both sides. Another important thing is that the corners of the die are gonna be really sharp. So I crush those down to make it safe for classroom use. And there you go.